Good day everyone! On this video, I will show you how to set the display mode into mirror or cloud mode using terminal console in Linux between the internal display of your laptop computer and the external monitor. This workaround is applicable to problem wherein you have set the display configuration in BIOS to discrete mode to discrete graphics and the NVIDIA proprietary graphics driver is installed. Now let's go to my system. Currently, I have here an Ubuntu OS and I'll open the display settings. As you can see, my internal display has only one resolution. It is 2560 by 1600 and when we check my external monitor it has a lot of supported resolutions however 2560 by 1600 is not among them and if we don't have a common display resolutions between the internal display and external monitor, we could not set it into mirror mode. So let's go to the mirror tab. If we first to apply to click the apply button, nothing will happen. Even if we try to set everything there, nothing will happen because 2560 by 1600 in your internal display is not listed among external monitor. However, if your external monitor supports that display, then there is no problem. Mirror could be set. However, in my case, and maybe some of you are watching, they were in, there is no common resolution between external display and internal display, then mirror could not be set. However, there is a workaround. We could open the terminal console and set it there. Okay. So let's try to close this display settings and open the terminal console. Okay, let's type XR and R and see the displays. So we could verify that the output of XR and R and display settings are the same. We could see that the internal display, which is connected in the DP4, has only one resolution, 2560 by 1600, while its DMI0, which is the external monitor, don't this 2560 by 1600. So in that case, display settings could not set it into mirror mode or clone mode. However, we could do that in XR and R. We could use the syntax XR and R output its DMI0 mode with same site output DP4 scale from with same site same as its DMI0. So let's try that. So let's type XR and R and then type dash dash output HDMI 0 which is where our external monitor is connected and then dash dash mode and then with same site in this case we choose the resolution 2560 by 1440 because that's the highest resolution that our monitor is able to to display and I checked it a while ago with NVIDIA settings that 2560 by 1440 although not listed in display settings and XR and R is available in NVIDIA settings so meaning by the GPU's point of view which is the NVIDIA the, the NVIDIA hardware 2560 by 1440 is supported so if we we execute that here in XLR, 
then this might work okay so let's type 2560 by 1440 and then dash dash output dp4 dp4 is where our internal display is connected and then dash dash scale from 2560 by 1440 so make sure that the two resolutions are the same and then dash dash same as HDMI 0 okay so that is the syntax so you might want to replace 2560 by 1440 with the resolution currently common to your external monitor and your internal display. You could use NVIDIA setting to check that one. Okay. And then let's see if the syntax works. So let's go to a different camera where we could see my external monitor. Okay, here so this is now what we have typed a while ago uh, this is the internal display and then we have here my external monitor it's still black and then we will execute the command that we have typed so I'll press the enter key okay now it is being executed and it has a few seconds delay and then bingo we have now a mirror display between the external monitor and the internal display of our laptop so try it on your computer if this solution uh, is working for you and if you have any questions, don't forget to leave a comment there and then I will try my best to, to answer it. And if it works for you also, then try also to leave a comment there so that uh, other viewers could also see that it works to a lot of systems. So don't forget to hit the like button on my video if you like it. And then, if you're not yet a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching, and see you on my next vlog.